A very good morning Dutch bike blogger here on my way to work and it's already quite nice outside it's a way plus in the 20 degrees didn't look how warm it is but it's warm enough to get outside in a short sleeveless shirt and a pair of flip-flops and I'm a little bit late aka I left home late so you know what that means going as fast as possible from home to work so no deer tours nothing at all Well, topic for today, Formula One. Yesterday, Sunday, Formula One Grand Prix of Hungary, Hungary on the Hugado Ring near Budapest, or in Budapest. No, near Budapest, it's not in Budapest, it's near there. A little bit of a reception for our Dutch countryman Max Verstappen. Engine trouble after only five laps. That's bad. And he was angry. You all probably heard the radio, the onboard radio communication with his own team. There was a lot of bleeping in there. I heard on the website the version without the bleeps. And it was one F word after another F word. Also Ricardo, Ricardo, Daniello Ricardo, I think it's in Italian but it's an Australian from Australia down under. He was uh, well he was starting at the back problems and was pushed around by Bottas very nice but Potas outbreak himself locked up his brakes and now the Formula One has a summer leave for three weeks next Grand Prix will be in Spa Francochamps Uh, by the way, this weekend the uh, 24 hours was back on Frank Jean were held. Seen a lot of that, not all but a lot. I've been watching Formula One well since I know I'm existing. At least my dad did and I watched too. Funny story by the way. We always watch the Grand Prix, especially Monaco. And we always were wondering why the 
drivers were zigzagging with their cars before the start in the warm-up lap the lap when they start, uh, stay on the grid they drive around and then they get in the starting positions well we always wondered as a kid I bet daddy didn't know too but why they were zigzagging in that in the way looks funny way well, we always thought and we concluded with each other that it would be because they wanted to test their steering of course steering is a essential part of racing so they wanted to know for sure if the steering wheel was going the right way when they turned it years later we found out that it was not true actually is yes, they are zigzagging because they want to get heat in the tires warmth back in the day you didn't have tire warmers so you had to warm up your tires in the lab from getting from the grid the starting grid one round and then uh, getting to the starting line and starting then you had to put your heat in the tires or you could do that by zigzagging braking accelerating but mainly the zigzagging I remembered I remember I have to say so that's what happened but as a kid I had no clue why it was for probably the announcer told uh, us told them but never heard it. it was mainly in German because Dutch television wasn't airing live from your one Hence the German TV. I always knew the drivers' names in German. For instance, there is a driver from Belgium. His name is Jerry Bautzen. The German always butchered his name to Butzen, so I only know this man was called Butzen from Belgium. And later out I found out he was Bautzen, Jerry Bautzen. And I'm actually known the day that Nicky Laura stopped racing. It was in 85 or so, 1985 that is. seen the big crash from Gerhard Berger at, at Temborello and San Marino Imola same corner where Ayrton Senna died but Berger crashed in uh, 89 and his car catched on catches on, fl on flames and then the marshals were there within 20 seconds or so with their Alfa Romeos my dad drove Alfa Romeo, so we were big fans of Alfa. We always broke in the race, the race cars, but who cares? And they saved his life because it was on fire for a while. Not good. Well, that's about Formula One. Maybe part two when I go home. Well, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Please click the bell button for a notification. And if you have anything to share, please do so in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.